Hi, I'm Jin Lee. I'm an assistant professor of bioengineering and neurology at Stanford University. And my lab currently works on trying to understand how the brain functions. My background is in electrical engineering. I currently run a lab studying the brain and people often wonder why that is. In electrical engineering, what we do is we build a system uh, but here we're trying to understand the system. When you build a system, you have to figure out ways to test your system and there are design principles around it. And that way of thinking uh, is very new to try and understand the brain. This is my lab. This is where we do a lot of different procedures to uh, study brain function. We work with uh, lab animals. Uh, my current research focuses on trying to understand how the brain functions. And for this prize, what we intend to do is to understand the neural control behind longevity. And we're looking at uh, specific uh, forebrain cells and how they respond to light stimulation as they age and they also go through Alzheimer's disease. So far, we have increased our lifespan significantly by responding to basic things like increasing hygiene or uh, improving our food supply and being able to stop bleeding on a very basic level. But going forward to further improve our longevity, we really need to have a systematic understanding of how our body as an overall system works. And I would define success as being able to crack that code and respond in a systematic manner. Palo Alto Prize is a very exciting opportunity. Um, current academic environment is not centered around uh, solving these uh, large-scale problems currently, but the Palo Alto Prize really enables us to try and attack these uh, big, important moonshot problems. What happens to the brain when normal aging occurs? What's different when Alzheimer's disease kicks in? the brain function, how it changes. Our brain function changes as a result of normal aging. What is that? What changes when you have disease? One thing that was really devastating in my experience was, for example, when my grandmother had a, had a stroke. And stroke is something where you have your brain um, function lost as a result of bleeding. And if we had a better understanding of how the system worked, we could simply try and rewire and uh, have a better quality of life. But what we have currently is for her to just try and walk while she can't move her legs and just keep trying. And it's very frustrating to watch that. Diseases pose a easier question. Yes, no. Is this a disease or not? And also, diseases are an immediate thing we need to address to try and solve social problems. However, oftentimes attacking it, a problem based on a yes-no question or trying to address it once the problem arises has limitation. To make fundamental jumps, you need to understand the core system on a fundamental level and not to respond to emergencies, but trying to prevent the emergencies from occurring uh, would be a very important approach that's missing in our current uh, environment. Palo Alto Prize really enables us to try and attack these uh, big, important moonshot problems. The first time I started thinking about the brain, the reason why I became a brain researcher right now was in high school. I fell asleep one day and uh, while I was studying for a math exam, I couldn't solve the problem, but I fell asleep while I was solving the problem and uh, when I woke up, I knew the answer. I was sure I solved the problem uh, during sleep. I actually used this experience as an excuse to go to bed every time I couldn't solve a problem. <laughs> but ultimately, if we understood how the brain works, Maybe perhaps we can have things downloaded onto our memory instead of having to study. Maybe our longevity can be defined as our ability to maintain our memory. Um, maybe we can one day even reach immortality. Uh, these are all uh, things that are possible by understanding how the brain works. Every moment of our life is a race against time. Why not do something about it right now?